Alrighty, so I'm back to the original spot that I attempted to enter. We'll try to take a different route, see if we can't find a way a little deeper into the woods. Yeah, I don't really know how much of this was caused by nature or how much of this was caused by man because I was here, I think it was last year, and they were building a trail big enough to bring in a big bulldozer because I could see the tracks of large equipment. So I'm not sure if the, the farmer has decided to destroy these woods so that they can have some more farmland or whether this is all natural fell. Now a lot of this looks like that it just naturally fell due to the weather and things of that nature. but that clearly has been cut. Again, you can tell that was snapped off by the weather. And most of these trees look like that it was just weather, the bad weather and the, the winter and the tornado-like winds that we got the, this winter. that clearly got snapped off So I've kind of become enthusiastic. Look at how this is bent. Look at this. Let's take a look. It's uprooted right there. And then it's got this bend right there. Looks like it may have hit that tree and then as it fell it just bent and stayed that way. So as I was saying before, I'm thinking about setting up Camp Bravo Yankee again and maybe working, working a little bit with that. Set up a pretty simple shelter maybe do a little bit of night or two camping out in, out in uh, Camp Bravo Yankee. So the ground is starting to get a little mushy again. Plenty of robins around. I see them flying all over the place. I don't know if the camera is picking them up. I want to move this direction. See if I can't find that tree stand again. I don't even really recall where it was at. 
and I know it was over that direction there but it's really really wet and nasty over there so I think I probably should avoid it let's see if I can focus in on this robin Too much debris, I think. Oh, you can hear it. There you go. Looks like some clear area over there. Again, it's starting to get really mushy. I don't think that I'm going to have a clear path to anywhere in here. Look at this. This is all swampy right here. There's no way. completely barred from going through this direction eh, I don't know let's see here So it looks like if I stay here on the east end, it's less, less muddy. So it looks like all I've got is the east end of this woods to, to play around in. Oh, let's see. Alrighty, so I have had a wonderful time out here today. Uh, I didn't get to see as much as I was hoping to see, but uh, this place is really, really still laden with, with pockets of water and it's super swampy. And I'm just not able to move around as much as I was kind of hoping I would be able to. I've seen uh, a lot of good deer sign out here and uh, there's plenty of birds, plenty of robins running around, mainly just robins. Uh, I've had a great day. It's, it's been really fun. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I was able to get out and uh, enjoy the outdoors. I've uh, not been feeling well for the last few days, both uh, mentally and physically. I think part of it is uh, just my lack of being out here in the woods. And because uh, I always feel better when I get outside, I always feel better when I get out in the woods, not just outside, but out in the woods. I just feel a lot better. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's about time for me to trek my way back out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this camera up a little bit. And I'm just going to do a 360 right here. So you can see these wonderful woods that I get to uh, get to trek in.
So thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard.